Hi guys. Um, so I decided to get dressed up today and also it's Easter so I got a new outfit so I want to feel good. Today's sunny and therefore I decided to just make use of the sun and bake something fun and so today I have this recipe which I've tested so many yellow cake and I think this is probably um, the easiest and the best tasting um, yellow cake. Um, it's really great for a lot of occasion. You can do sheet cakes, layer cakes, and um, you can also do cupcakes with it. So let's start baking. First of all, we have some butter. Butter, you need to make sure to it is room temperature and then cut it into pieces. If you have a really rock solid one, um, just cut it into pieces and let it sit in room temperature. So let's put it inside. We are going to whisk it until fluffy with a little bit of um, sugar. So my sugar is here. If you don't have a mixer, you can use a handheld mixer as well. So we pour the sugar in there. And then just whisk. So oh, it kind of looks like this. Very fluffy and um, it's combined with the sugar makes it a light yellow color, okay. So now, then I'm going to add um, eggs one at a time while it's whisking. One, and then let it combine first, and then you add the second one. Let it combine again, and then you add the third one. Ooh. Now you can see it's gonna be like creamy, fluffy, and the egg is combining with the butter nicely. I'll show it to you. Here's, here it is. See, it's very fluffy and light, not very clummy. And what you need to do is make sure you scrape the sides so that all the eggs and butter get mixed up together. Then the next step is the dry ingredient. So today we have flour, uh, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. So these are pretty basic ingredient. If you're baking, you probably should have it. Uh, our all-purpose flour is for this ingredient. This recipe. So you just basically sift everything together. Sifting makes sure that there's no dirt in the flour, make sure it's not clumming. And just shift and you get separated. Alright, now we're going to slowly incorporate it uh, three times. So one time. And then once it's incorporated, you can do the second batch, second time. I really wouldn't overdo it because if you overdo it, your dough will become tough. Second time. And you don't have to do it in a high speed too, just a low, steady speed. And as soon as it comes together, you stop. Nice and thick. Then you scrape the bottom. And we're gonna inc uh, incorporate the milk in it as well. And then you can add one third of the milk. And actually, also add the vanilla as well. And then the second batch. And then let it blend nicely together. Nice and creamy. 
and you're pretty much done. So all you need to do is um, grease your pan, put it in your um, six inch round pan, or you can do muffins, you can do sheet cake, and then you can decorate it afterwards. So super simple, pretty easy, and um, it's pretty bulletproof. So I hope you guys stay safe. And uh, if you have any questions or you want me to make anything or show you anything or ask me anything, just let me know.